Hi guys, I'm going to recap a 2020 romantic comedy movie, called Rich in Love. This movie tells the story of a young man descended from rich people who always spends his father's money. He falls in love with a woman and chases her all the way to Rio City, and even pretends to be poor to find out if the woman is sincerely in love with him despite his richness. Will this woman still love him the same after finding out his secret? Let's find out. Teto is a man who likes to sleep with a different woman every night. He is the son of a very successful tomato businessman named Theodoro, the richest man in the city. Teto himself is nicknamed the Prince of Tomatoes for his family business. In his daily life, Teto is always pampered by his maid named Rose. Rose's son, Igor, has to take Teto's girlfriend home every morning. Meanwhile, in the city of Rio, Paula is a young doctor candidate who is doing her internship at a hospital. She has two best friends who will also become doctors named Raisa and Katya. Katya invites her two best friends to celebrate her bachelorette party out of town. At first Paula had refused because there was an offer for surgery from a senior doctor named Victor. In the operating room, Victor briefly shows interest in Paula. However, Paula decides to reject Victor's offer by reason of illness and follows her two best friends to the bus terminal and tells about Victor's offer to them which makes her feel uncomfortable. Back at the mansion, Teto wants to invite Igor to have fun. Igor refuses because he wants to go to school. Not accepting the refusal, Teto then invites Igor to make a bet with a cash prize. And as usual, Teto wins the bet so Igor has to do what he wants. Teto then invites Igor to try a car that he wants as a birthday present from his father. On their way there is a police car chasing them because the car driven by Teto exceeded the speed limit. But as it turns out, the policeman who pulls him over, knows Teto and allows him to leave. However, a policewoman gets out of the car and orders Teto to get out of the car to be searched. She is deliberately doing this so she could be invited to Teto's birthday party. Arriving at Theodoro's office, Teto immediately asks his father to buy him the car. However, Theodoro refuses because he wants to give Teto a job at his company. Theodoro then summons a junior executive, Monica, who would teach Teto how to work at the company. However, while they are walking around the warehouse, Teto is playing with Igor which irritates Monica. At night, Paula is seen having fun with her two best friends at the playground. It turns out that in the same place, Teto is celebrating his birthday which is very crowded. At this time, there is a debate between Teto and Igor. The woman Igor likes turned out to show interest in Teto, because he is rich. Teto says clearly to Igor that everyone here only likes him for his wealth, not because of himself. Teto then goes to another crowd to continue the next event, namely the tomato throwing war. While the event is going on, Teto accidentally throws a tomato which hits Paula's head. It makes Paula angry, but at the same time, Paula's two best friends are being harassed. Teto tries to help, but instead receives a punch in the nose which makes his nose bleed. Paula and her two friends took Teto away from the crowd to fix his crooked nose. Teto then takes Paula to his father's tomato garden to find water to clean the blood from his nose. Teto says that he is the son of a poor farmer who works in the garden. While they are chatting, Paula tells him that she is celebrating the bachelorette party of her best friend. Because the meeting is so memorable, Teto wants to kiss Paula. This is rejected by Paula by saying that she wants to return to her best friend. The next morning, Teto wakes up to the sound of a car horn in front of the house. Teto immediately goes downstairs. It turns out that Theodoro has bought the car that Teto wants as a birthday present as well as the last present for Teto. Teto also agrees to do an internship at one of the branches of his father's company to learn to live independently. After that, Teto immediately looks for Igor and asks him to go to Rio City together. Teto tells his plan to Igor and invites Igor to take part in the apprenticeship program. He wants to exchange identities so he does. T receives special treatment due to his status as Theodoro's child. In Rio City, the two of them live in a private apartment owned by Theodoro. Teto then goes to Paula's best friend's wedding and pretends to be an invited guest. There, Teto asks a cleaning service to change clothes so he can come in and see Paula at close range. When Paula enters a room, Teto decides to enter the room too so that Paula will think that they meet again by accident. While they are chatting, Victor comes and asks Paula out while being condescending to Teto. Annoyed by Victor's words, Paula kisses Teto. The two of them then continued walking along the beach. Teto's lie as a poor person continues. The next day when Teto and Igor arrive at the company, they meet Monica. She is upset because she is fired from her position as a junior executive for no reason. Then during the introduction of the apprentices, the lies of the two of them continue. They introduce themselves to the marketing director, Celio, where Teto calls himself Igor. Likewise, Igor introduces himself as Teto. It isn't long before a woman named Alana who has the responsibility of assessing the apprentices appears. 
Celio tells Alana to pay more attention to Igor, while Teto himself has difficulty in completing the tasks given by Alana. Upset by the preferential treatment received by Igor, Teto decides to call Monica and ask for her help. After returning from his internship, Teto goes to Monica's house outside the city where he becomes the center of attention because of the car he uses. At first Monica refuses to help without payment because Monica is in need of money. Her little sister is sick and in need of treatment at the hospital. The next day, Teto comes to see Paula at the hospital to ask for her help. He wants her to check on Monica's sister's health. But Paula cannot issue a prescription because she does not have a license to practice as a doctor. Monica, who felt lied to by Teto, is angry. Teto tries to calm her down by promising his car. If Teto manages to become the best apprentice, he will give his car to Monica. Moments later, Paula tells Monica that she manages to get a checkup at the hospital for her sister. As a form of gratitude, Teto invites Paula to go on a date. The next morning, Monica asks Teto to go to the office earlier than the other interns. Arriving at the office, Teto immediately continues the task given yesterday according to the instructions given by Monica. Then when Teto distributes the paper he has printed to the interns, Celio comes. He informs him that there has been a change in material from the head office. Teto has to destroy the material he has printed. It doesn't stop there, Teto continues his efforts by trying to win Celio's heart. He tries to look diligent compared to the other interns. After that is successful, Teto asks Monica for a recommendation for a place to date with Paula. Monica also tells about a club and also teaches Teto how to dance. Teto and Paula then go to the club and have fun together. After they come back from the club, they continue to chat about their family. At that time, they kiss passionately and Paula suggests they continue at Teto's place. Teto, who is in shock and panic, immediately calls Igor to borrow his father's apartment keeper. If he doesn't, he might get caught by Paula. Once at the destination, Teto pretends that the guard is his uncle. They then continue their activities on the rooftop of Teto's apartment. The next morning on his way to work, Teto sees a fountain in the garden. It becomes his reference in marketing ideas for their new product. On the other hand, it turns out that Igor's ideas are no less good, which is preferred by Alana. Unable to decide which idea to use, Celio decides to combine both ideas. When she comes home from work, Alana asks Igor to treat her to dinner. She thinks Igor is indebted to her for the marketing idea. Igor also refuses and says that he prefers to eat together in the apartment. The dinner together ends with them making out. The next morning, Igor wakes up feeling happy because Alana is accompanying him. At the same time, Teto, who has just returned home, immediately falls asleep next to Alana. He thinks Alana is Igor. While searching for breakfast, Alana accidentally meets the apartment keeper at the dining table and thinks he is Theodoro, Teto's father. In order not to be found out, Igor calls the guard as father and immediately asks Alana to go to the office. Arriving at the office, the employees are preparing their product marketing project which is a combination of ideas from Teto and Igor. Meanwhile, Paula and her fellow doctors are preparing for their graduation party. A few days later, Teto and Paula, who have just left the apartment, meet Theodoro who is visiting Rio City. Theodoro invites Teto to meet the investors for a dinner that clashes with Paula's graduation party. Because Teto can't refuse his father's invitation, Teto tries to find a hotel near Paula's graduation party. On the other hand, Alana, who knows that Igor will have a meeting, asks Igor to invite her to the meeting also. After some discussion, Teto and Igor decide to hold a fake investor meeting for Alana. On the day of the dinner, the apartment keeper appears as Igor's father and has bribed several people. They are to act as fake investors and tell them not to say anything. And at the original investor meeting, Teto gets a message from Paula. She has been waiting for him at his graduation ceremony. Teto immediately goes to the toilet and changes into his party clothes. At the same time, Victor who comes to the place is made a drink mixed with medicine by Paula's friend. When Teto almost arrives at Paula's graduation party, he is hit by a cyclist. Paula who sees the incident immediately helps Teto and gives him a drink. It has been mixed with medicine which makes Teto happy. After meeting with Paula, Teto immediately returns to the dinner with the investors. However, not long after, Paula calls Teto again and asks where he is. Due to the side effects of the medicine, Teto returns to Paula's event wearing the formal suit he wears for dinner. This makes Paula confused. To distract Paula, Teto sings a song for Paula and unknowingly burns his pants in the bonfire at the event. And when he wants to return to the hotel, Teto meets his cousin, Anna, at Paula's event. Anna innocently tells Paula that Teto is a descendant of a rich man and Paula realizes that she has been lied to by Teto all this time. Teto, who is in trouble, immediately calls Igor to change clothes in the toilet. 
but the incident is witnessed by his father who thinks they are a gay couple. When he wants to get out of the hotel, Teto meets Paula who is furious with him and then leaves him. However, Teto, who wants to chase Paula, falls unconscious and is helped by Anna to return to the apartment. The next morning, Teto is again involved in an argument with Theodoro about last night's events. Teto, who is tired of not being trusted by his father, decides to leave the apartment and stay at Monica's house. After leaving his belongings, Teto immediately looks for Paula. He tries to explain the reason why he has been pretending about his identity. However, Paula is still angry with Teto and says she has signed up as a volunteer doctor at Amazon. The next day, Monica wakes Teto for the announcement of the apprentices that will be accepted by the company. And after they get there, there is a slight misunderstanding between Theodoro and Alana. She thinks Theodoro has lied about his identity. It is Teto's name who comes out as an apprentice who is accepted by the company. Teto also tells Igor to go to the podium, but Igor even clarifies that he is not Teto. The real Teto then steps up to the podium and apologizes to everyone for causing the mess. Teto and Igor then leave the room, followed by Monica and Alana who want to hear their explanation. After hearing Igor's explanation, it turns out that Alana doesn't care about Igor's true identity. Alana has fallen in love with Igor who has been paying attention to her. Then the problem arises who has the right to own Teto's car. Teto finally decides to sell the car and make it an investment capital that could benefit all parties. One year later, Teto returns to Monica's house. It turns out that Teto's family and friends have come to give Teto a birthday surprise. Not long after, Paula also came to the place to congratulate Teto. Teto then invites Paula to come inside. He explains that he is starting a business with Monica and Igor who are married to Alana. Teto has also succeeded in inviting Monica's neighbors to become tomato farmers by planting tomatoes on their roofs. There, Teto is very grateful to Paula, because it was his meeting with Paula that made Teto a better Teto. They hug each other with warmth. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.